Hello there beautiful people, Steph Filipina is here and welcome back to my channel everybody. So for today's video guys, I'm going to be talking about the darkest secrets that some Filipinas are trying to hide from you so that they will take advantage of you and so that you would continue dating them or even marry them in the future. Okay, but I am here to tell you guys for you to be aware and any possible conflict that you might be experiencing with any of these women. Okay, so the first secret that your Filipina that will try to hide from you is that she is single. So I think a lot of you have heard about this already that when a Filipina says she is single, there might be a possibility that she is actually not a single. Especially if you guys met in dating app. In that case, you really have to trust but verify. And what I mean by that is you really have to verify by simply asking her a lot of personal questions so that you can really verify and you can really assess that she is telling you the truth that she is really single. Because nowadays, here in the Philippines, online dating is so rampant, okay? So there are actually a lot of Filipina women who are on the dating sites or on the dating applications and they introduce themselves as a single woman where in fact they are actually not a single because they are dating or even married to a Filipino or worst case scenario they are actually dating or even married to a foreigner okay so I think this is not a new for you everybody but I just still want you to be aware that if you are planning to meet a Filipina online you really have to ask the possible questions and really try to observe her responses if her stories or consistent are matching okay because maybe she can easily lie to you and can make up a lot of stories for you to believe so that she can manipulate you she can fool you she can lie to you and to gain something from you by simply lying i asked this friend of mine to go out with me because i really want to buy something in this mall and then it just so happened that i have a friend of mine he messaged me on instagram and telling me that hey Steph, I'm here in the small would you mind to meet with me i asked the guy if can i just meet my friends you know so he said it's okay so i brought two friends with me and then we went to this mall and then there we finally see each other but prior meeting each other this friend of mine let's just call her uh, leah leah okay so leah told me that stuff i don't want to get to know this person i'm not interested in him he's so old he looks old you know, I'm not interested in older guys and stuff like that. She really told me all this stuff that she's not interested because she is in a five years relationship with a Filipino guy and they are actually living together already for the past five years. So I was like, it's okay. I just want you guys to come with me because of course I'm not you know, confident to go there and I'm really scared to go there alone. So we went there but then after a few minutes of meeting with each other my friend leah she told me that oh he actually looks good he looks really nice and he doesn't look old and i was like okay so what's your plan now and then she was like yeah i think i'm going to flirt with him and then yeah let's just you know talk and i was like what you literally just told me earlier that you're not interested with this guy because First of all, you said that you are in a five years relationship with a Filipino guy. And the second one is you don't want to date an older guy. So I was a bit disappointed and I got upset because of that words coming from her. And I didn't tell her obviously because she was not doing anything to that guy yet. But then after a few minutes, they were, you know, they were flirting and stuff like that. And then she even told me that oh i think i'm just gonna go with this guy because maybe he can pay the tuition fee of my you know my sister and i was like what 
you, you literally just told me earlier you're not interested with this guy and now that you see him you're telling me now that you are interested with this guy because first he looks rich he looks really good and now you're telling me that you're wanting to date this guy because he can probably pay your sister's tuition fees so you know i was really frustrated with that statement so right up front i told the guy that hey this girl is actually in a five years relationship so whatever things that she's gonna tell you just get along with it but do not believe anything that she has to you know that she's gonna say to you because i don't want you to be scammed or i don't want you to be lied or be fooled by this girl and i get it she's really pretty guys she's really really pretty all of this physical thing do not be deceived with any of this because mind you i know a lot of you it can be your weaknesses you know the physical beauty the youth because you really want to date someone who is young who is hot and who is pretty right but you have to set boundaries as well you have to set limitations and you know do not settle for last do not get to the point where you have to just be okay with the fact that she is actually dating someone just because you really wanted to be with this girl okay do not do that and trust me you're not gonna want to be involved with a girl who is in a relationship with a filipino or even married to a filipino because you know a filipino i'm not trying to say all i'm not trying to generalize okay but some actually wants to take advantage of the fact that there is a guy or there is a foreigner who is in love and attracted to the Filipino girl, uh, you know, and then they're gonna use that as an excuse to exploit money from you, to threaten you, you know, like for example, they will threaten you to report it legally at the, at the police or in a lawyer, and then they will raise a case against you and then you're gonna have to pay for it because again here in the philippines if you are going to date someone who is married so yeah you're gonna have to face the consequence and i don't want you guys to deal with any of this stuff because first of all again i know that you are wanting to meet a good genuine filipina and trust me there are a lot of good genuine filipina here not just that girl okay i know you will be overwhelmed you will be you know you will you feel like oh my god i can get whoever i want here you know because every time that you go out wherever you go you can literally see a lot of you know beautiful hot sexy filipina women here but you have to tell yourself that doesn't mean that she's pretty you're gonna go with her doesn't mean that she's hot you're gonna be okay with it you know that doesn't mean that she's so sexy and she's really young that you're gonna forget all the red flags but you know what guys that is not always the case as well because honestly i have heard a lot of stories as well and i know someone who is actually doing this you know this girl pretends that she is single she doesn't have kids and she is not married okay but unfortunately the reality is actually she is married she has kids and you know they have been together for such a long time already with this filipino partner but because of the poverty in the province she decided to sign up online for a dating app and then she met someone here a foreigner and then you know the foreigner has been supporting her financially and you know what's so ironic everybody is because this filipino husband is actually okay with his wife doing video calls talking or dating to this foreigner online because maybe he thinks that you know it's just online he cannot touch the filipina anyway so he's probably okay with the fact that they will just video call and stuff like that as long as all of them the wife the husband or even the kids receive the financial assistance or financial support that this foreigner that this filipina is talking to sending to them every month you really have to be very careful because not 
everything that you see is real and not everything that you hear is actually true. The Filipino that you're talking to has husband and has kids and you are not going to be an ATM machine who's been sending money for these people that you are not even related to in the first place. You know, so it's up to you and you have to really overthink right now. I know a lot of you think that Filipino women are good and I get that everybody here is really good. But at the same time as well, I just want to let you know that there's always going to be another side of the coin, right? Before jumping into a relationship with a Filipina, before rushing anything, before giving up your life there, before quitting your job there, before sacrificing everything that you have there in your country, verify first. Always make sure that you are ready and then your Filipina is really as genuine as you do and has a genuine, sincere intentions as you do and as committed as you. Because if you ever find out that the Filipina that you're talking to is actually not as committed as you do and as not uh, genuine as you do and all this time you have been manipulated, you have been cheated on, you have been fooled, you have been lied to, you know, you're gonna be so hurt and you're gonna regret everything. And I don't want you guys to experience that. Is that if you ever want to date someone online, you have to really ask for a cinema so that you can verify that she's never been married before, that she is really single, and also that she is not currently married to a Filipino or to a foreigner. 